Right. Tensions have flared in Dipslut as disgruntled residents demand answers from police about their community leaders' arrests. A heated exchange erupted between police and the community following the arrests, with police firing rubber bullets to disperse the protesters. Residents have been protesting for over a week and vowed to continue their anti-crime protest until President Cyril Ramaphosa addresses them. Our reporter Mangoba Mkunu is following these developments for us and joins us now live. Mangoba, can you give us some highlights uh, from that community meeting? Well, I can tell you only that uh, residents are certainly not backing down as far as their calls uh, for an end to crime in this community. In fact, during that uh, community meeting that uh, was held here this afternoon, which was essentially to give residents uh, feedback as to what's going to happen uh, going forward, this is uh, a meeting that was held uh, earlier on uh, this afternoon. Uh, we heard, of course, from community members that uh, they feel that, uh, you know, they are being, uh, they call community are not being taken I'm just saying that uh, they're not going to stop Ramaphosa comes to address them. The protest itself has been suspended for now. And this is, of course, after some of the leaders uh, from this community were arrested yesterday by police. Uh, those leaders have uh, since been moved to the Johannesburg Central Police Station and uh, leaders earlier on going also uh, to visit those leaders. They gave a report back as well to the community saying that the leaders are in good spirits and they are saying that uh, they will continue uh, where uh, they left off as far as as, uh, the calls for crime to end in this community is concerned. But uh, community members were quite upset. Uh, in fact, many of them uh, were quite angry, saying that they feel that they're being uh, intimidated by the police and uh, saying that they are not going to allow that particular situation, uh, that uh, their cries uh, for crime to end in this community uh, be a shutdown, basically, by a government. So uh, some of them spoke at this particular event, uh, of course, saying that they are calling for their leaders to be released and that they're not willing to engage with government up until that happens. Take a listen to what one of the women here who spoke had to say. President Usiril Ramaphosa, Ubela Page 21, for 2021. Kulenda old make you not. As a guy, forty eight. Tina Lam Sanje, Cassis City Magaza, Wakulanda, Wayaku Yongo twenty twenty one. Uti Yakasa Union building. Yakasa Kulanda, Wabego, Yo City. Nitini Masalva said to me, Nitini Masalva said to me, We are water. Because the moment Dr. Tubebu X, they forget about us. They forget about us. The only thing they need from us, we are voting cows. We are human ladders. Agnoba, if you could give us a sense of what that residence's main, main concerns are. Well, the residents simply saying only that, uh, you know, they feel that they've been let down by government, more especially President Sula Ramaphosa, for not coming to this community. Uh, she's saying that uh, they're essentially being used as, uh, you know, uh, voters or, or, you know, for votes as community members uh, by government. But when it comes uh, to the president, uh, you know, responding to the call to come to this community, uh, that doesn't seem to be of particular importance to the president. She says, in fact, he was here in 2021 at this very uh, park where they had met uh, but uh, it doesn't seem like uh, this particular time uh, the president is willing to come to them so they're saying that they're quite upset uh, that the president has not come to this community and of course uh, saying that they're not going to stop uh, with their protest but uh, I just want to get a sense only of what's going to happen to this particular protest and what's going to happen going forward and joining me now is Reverend uh, 
Tukwane Dituche, who's one of the leaders of the community. Uh, Reverend, thank you for your time. I know that uh, you have had quite a number of engagements today. And earlier on, uh, you also went to visit those three leaders in, uh, you know, prison uh, in Johannesburg earlier on. Uh, but I think the big question is what's happening now, what's going to happen with the, uh, with, with the protest uh, as we speak now and going forward? Um, for, for now, the, the, the protest, uh, we have suspended it um, until Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> we are going to have our leaders' meeting with the leadership um, probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, we will, however... Um, it will continue. We are just wanting to go to court. We're preparing our energies and our sources, our resources, to go to court on on Tuesday. But on on Monday morning, we have invited the MEC for safety uh, in the city of Johannesburg to a metro Johannesburg metro to come, and we need to have an engagement with, in terms of having a walkabout in a township. Uh, to, to, to on Monday from 10 o'clock onwards. Um, we, we have not pulled out of the discussions with the office of the president, but we can't go when the government is treating us in the manner that it treats us. We can't go. Uh, special the utterances that were uttered to our leaders. We understand why they are being arrested. Um, where one of the officials who was handling them there saying to them, uh, who do we, who the hell we think we are to call president to deep sloot. Uh, we want to call the president to the sheikhs. I was shocked. I was shocked. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm still shocked that a, a very senior official of that magnitude can misrepresent the president in that manner. I just hope he's representing him. All of these tricks that they are playing, we think that it's just the tricks for for delaying tactics and to intimidating us. And we are not intimidated, we, don't, we are not afraid. Um, I've been sent here by the church to stand on the side of the poor. And I'm just fulfilling my duties to stand on the, on the side of the poor and stand with the marginalized, those who cannot speak for themselves. Yeah, but the, the guys are our okay, Mangoba. As I said earlier on, they are, they are in jovial spirit. They will pick off from where they left when they come back. Maybe we'll have, like, we have moved, well, we have moved one step forward. They'll pick it from where we are. So yeah. you're saying that uh, the possibility of, uh, of residents returning to the streets over crime, that's still a possibility here? Sorry? Are you saying that uh, the protest might continue? It, it will continue if we don't get what we want. And I want, I want the South Africans to know, this is not a violent protest. It's a protest of un harmless people who have no weapon, who have no resources, poor people, unemployed mothers, fathers, who live in shacks, who just ask for simple things. Can we be secured and be saved? That's the only thing they're asking. And the scene of that is, the result of that is to take our leaders into, into police station and arrest them. That's unfair. That can never be right. That can never be justifiable. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, that was Reverend Tukwane uh, uh, just speaking here after that public meeting, uh, saying that, uh, of course, it's not the end of their fight as a community in the area. So on Monday, uh, the two leaders are expected to appear, and residents are mobilizing to go to court uh, to support their leaders. And uh, following that, uh, that's when they say there will be another meeting uh, to discuss a way forward as to what's going to happen with their protest. But of course, quite upset that uh, up until now, there's been no commitment from the office of the president to come and listen to their concerns. Thank you so much. That was ENCA reporter Mangoba Mkonu. Uh, we bring you more on today's leading stories when we return. So do